strangers. We are strangers. Everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sherry Lucy here, and in today's video, my skin is a little bit more clear. So I'm able to do this video that I've been wanting to do for almost like like too long too 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 long so basically what i'm going to do is show you how to do your makeup for work or show you something that could be you could take a tip or trick or two um it really isn't anything special it's sort of like my everyday makeup routine um depending on you know where i'm at because i work two jobs so i have different makeup styles for both jobs i may add a little bit more to one job and be a little less than other than the other one but essentially they all um have the same lineup of products and the same uh sort of things that i do meaning like foundation and brows and certain things like that etc etc so i'm going to show you guys how to do that and uh let's jump into it all right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take the Kush Brow Gel. Um, this is just a Hydro, which is basically clear. And my technique lately has been to just brush them up first um, and then let them stick. I do do my brows different kind of ways, but this is honestly my favorite way of doing it, which is just to brush up the hairs. And I usually do my brows first um, and then um, do the rest of my makeup but i feel like i am always skipping that and i think people want to see so i'm just going to show you so i'm brushing the hairs in the way that they grow um and just placing them in the way that i want them to look when i do add brow product so i'm going to take the fenty concealer and the number 385 i like to use this because it's really close to my skin tone and um i do my my after i did my brows the other day um they have definitely like started to grow in and sort of get like adjusted to my my the rest of my brow hair so i use this concealer because it's closer and if i have like an ingrown not ingrown uh hair that's growing in um you know i like that this is a, just a tad orange and it will definitely conceal that um another thing i want to mention is that when you're doing your makeup for work, right, the goal isn't to get as glamorous as, you know, what you see on social media or what you see on YouTube. To me, it's mostly about what you're going to be comfortable with and how to make it last so that you are good by the time you get Starbucks at work, uh, before work in an hour, before you get to work or are at work. And even maybe if you go to happy hour, that it lasts a good 10 to 12 hours that's essentially what i would like to do living in new york city we're always out and we're always on our feet and we're doing stuff and i feel like adjusting makeup throughout the day is necessary but i try to keep it as minimal as possible and there's different things that i do to um do that um the basis behind me wanting to do this video is because i see a lot of content online about doing like doing makeup styles that i don't think is for the everyday woman and the core of these people's like fans and like people who've been subscribed to them are everyday women and i love glamorous makeup i really really do but i'm also not gonna wear lashes i'm not gonna wear uh individual lashes i'm probably not gonna put on eyeshadow for example and maybe i may not even put on blush i mean or sorry i'm always gonna put on blush because that's like a, a staple for me i feel like that kind of completes the look almost more than contour does because if you think about makeup that has been around for years upon years and the style that people did it was mostly blush um contour is something that i really do love um but i think highlight is 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 a special thing and you absolutely can where there's no you know rules to makeup um right now i'm putting on the mac uh paint pot in the color soft ochre i usually take these two colors right here which is like probably like a reddish brown it doesn't have a name just because um it's whatever it's like a reddish brown and i really bring my brush into that tap it off like this so that the powder can go back into it and then i just press that into the eye this is literally like a messy kind of um wash of color just because I'm going to, I'm not going to work today, but in my mind, if I was getting ready, I'm just going to work and I want to look put together, but I don't want like an entire eye look because 
I feel like when you start doing an eye look and you add glitter and stuff like that, you want to add lashes or you want to like really make the eye look pop. And to me, eyeshadow means that you're like going somewhere that requires like a complete look maybe you know something a little bit more formal or something a little bit more dressed up and nine out of ten times i'm going home i just wanted to show you guys close up just how it looks it looks a little bit like a little darker than my actual skin tone but nothing looks like a full-on eyeshadow look that's my style it's my go-to and it makes um another reason that i do this is my eye actually my actual eyelids are so oily that i kind of just like having something there even if it's just a wash and that's it so um i just want to finish up my brows so my brows are drying up and i just usually take this brow pencil and i'll go over it and i'm not even really touching them too much because, like I said, I like a simple look. And even though I use the concealer, I am going a little bit over it just so that everything is filled in. And if you've noticed, like I have a full long brow. That's my style. combination. Very oily here, a little bit on the nose, but the rest is pretty normal, sometimes dry. So the Hydro Primer is definitely gonna hydrate, but it's gonna grip the makeup. But this this milk, uh, the blur stick is going to help with the oil and keeping it at bay. You know, I used this the other day and I was like, yo, this shit kept everything on point, point. Like, that's it, it like kept it on point. And then it's quick and, and, and to the point. Now we're done with that. And then you only need one pump, if that, to be honest, because I feel like it comes out with so much product and you need to like thin it out all the way. You know, you really need to thin it out. And then, which I should have did this after, I should have did this and then did my brows. You want to wait 60 seconds for everything to fully absorb. What's interesting about their method of doing that, which I use a lot of milk products today. I use their watermelon sun, which I love underneath my eyes. Um, what's interesting about milk is that they use a formula which I like, which is to wait 60 seconds. I think you should wait for every step of your skin and makeup routine. Wait at least 60 seconds for everything eye cream and then serum and all that stuff and wait for everything to fully absorb into your skin and then add it on and I feel like you'll notice a huge difference where I need coverage and because this is a little bit white I'm just gonna just go like that all right so these are the areas in which I'm literally concerned about my skin I have dark spots my skin is actually really healthy it's just the dark spots are there and that's the end of that. Oh my god, I didn't play SPF on today. I'm sick. So I will buff in. I should probably buff in the top first. Always start at the top and work your way down. Never buff upwards. It never looks good at all. Okay. See, even now I think I took too much product. Which, why I'm glad that I lit up my sponge because... The sponge will help you pick up wherever you put too much. Now, you're probably wondering, why are you putting a full face of foundation on if you're going to work? I think that a full face of foundation is the only thing that works for me in terms of, um, in terms of like looking like a makeup that I'm happy with that will allow me to want to socialize and feel confident in my skin. Until I get rid of all these dark spots, as you can see, I have them everywhere. This is sort of just my style. Sometimes I do like it a little bit bright. Um, just depends on the day. It really just depends on the day. Okay, so the Fenty Concealer, um, I feel like with, so by itself, I, it reads a little bit of pink, but in person, um, how do I word this? It's looking a little orange, right? So in this case, I will add just a little bit of this because I don't want um, it to, when I set it, to be like a different color because I definitely have had that issue before. Setting it with Laura and then being like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is just blend this out 
I will say the nice thing about um, this sponge from Morphe, you don't have to press really hard. Like I can literally like lightly tap it and get my blending taken care of. And that's that on that. Lighten it up. This is just a little bit uh, more of a neutral like tan. I'm just going to put it like right here where I have a little bit of um, little product. And we are going to just blend that in. And this does lighten it just a little bit but nothing too bright because sometimes I do like it bright. It just depends on the day. On camera, I feel like it is looking hella bright, but I'm okay with that because I'm on camera. So lately I've been loving the Derma Blend. I don't know if I talked about getting this. I think I bought this. Yeah, maybe I talked about it in a video with um, my haul. Press that in and then I'm going to just set this way. The reason I'm not baking is because Remember, I feel like baking is, is like kind of getting played out and that shit feels heavy. So what I like to do is just press into the skin and do that. You can still bake if you want to. If that's your style, do it. But I think for me, this is probably the best thing I can do for my skin to let it breathe. Especially with, you know, summer coming. And I just want to take a little bit of powder and put it over my eyes because, I don't know, I just don't like when my brows are greasy. That's like the worst thing ever. I like this powder a lot. Um, it does make my foundation like a little bit darker. So I don't really care. I use this because it makes me look smooth. Do you need it? Hell no. You don't need it. But I'm extra. I'm fucking extra that's just my style that's just my style baby and then if you notice I'm putting it around the perimeter of the face I'm not doing it underneath the eye because I still want to leave that area for brightness another reason why I use a pressed powder is because I like um, uh, for it to look smooth but I think in order for whatever contour bronze blush whatever you use afterwards so that it doesn't skip it needs a setting powder and that's it this is the cover effects perfecter face palette this is the medium to deep I love the colors in here this is a contour but I'm treating it as a bronze is because it has a little bit of a red undertone and I don't think that it really gives me definition the way a cool tone contour would anything warm tone i feel like just gives me like i just left miami kind of vibe i consider bronzer i just left miami and i've been at the beach all day and the way that the sun is hitting me is giving me love giving me everything and that's it <laughs> That's what I want. It's just a little definition, but still warmth. You can do that with a contour. You can do that with a bronzer. I prefer sometimes contour, but contour to me is four days when I'm going to get glamorous. So I'm using a really big uh, fan brush. I'm going in where my ear meets, and then I'm brushing it into the hairline, and then I'm just wringing it up. This is to give you warmth. This is to make you look sun kiss like the golden goddess that you are i'm gonna do that again tap off and then we're gonna just add it in i love a blush contour bronzer situation i like when they all meet together do you see how there's a natural highlight there without me putting highlight that's technique sis that is technique honestly i wear this every day i do like a little bit on the bridge of the nose See that just a little bit just a little bit and then where that natural highlight sits is where I'm going to add the highlight 
I'm literally dipping in both of them. They're Heavenly and Twilight. And then I'm just gonna go in with my Morphe brush. And we're gonna go in. I do love highlight, um, but I don't need it every day. It's not a necessity. You know, I wanted to call this like how I do you how do you do your makeup for work, but this was really should be called the basic bitch makeup tutorial. So I'm gonna change it. Taking a little bit of the Marc Jacobs uh, Velvet Primer and just touching a little bit. Using also the Roller Lash Benefit Benefit Roller Lash. Uh, this is one of my faves. The way to make it really basic, like basic girl, is to put a little fancy gloss on. I'm not gonna do a whole lip look. Um, the thing that's nice about Fenty is there's shea butter in there, so it's going to um, naturally moisturize the lips. This is the look that I would definitely gravitate towards. It, this is like my most comfortable look. It's the most confident look that I have. And it will definitely carry a little bit of a like tiny setting powder. I'm definitely going to carry gloss. And another thing I don't know if you guys noticed, I didn't put mascara at the bottom lashes. To me, this makes me feel more awake. But by the time I get to nighttime, I will add a little bit of that. And I may even add in a little bit of the Marc Jacobs um, liner in the color blacker. Depending if I'm going to happy hour or if I'm going out at the night and I don't have time to go home and touch up the makeup. Um, those are usually the things that I carry. And then maybe a brush or two just so that I can like sweep off if any, um, if any mascara like fell underneath i can like clean it up with a little bit of setting powder but essentially this is my look setting spray and that is my last thing i'm oily so i want an extra finish this is the next matte finish i'm probably not going to use too much um just because i don't know i feel like it's matte i use a lot of matte and everything's just matte literally my favorite natural glam look i don't know if i should call it my everyday going to work basic bitch natural glam i'm gonna call this the natural basic bitch glam for work <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching my channel if you have any questions about any products that i use you can find them in the description bar don't forget to like subscribe and share my videos and as always i love you and i will see you next time Bye bye